Alright, here's my zero. So I'm like, adjust the chain tension. I, here's me the belt tension. Before I did that, I actually checked the uh, the distance between the center of the front and rear sprocket on both sides, making sure that basically it's parallel. Because, you know, it's like that, right? So if it's not parallel, the two is not parallel, that means the uh, the alignment will be off and the, uh, and you know, you, you know, things will be off. So you need to make sure those are two parallel. So I checked them, they're both parallel. So that's good there. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, when I, when I start adjusting the tension, I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, being off, off of each other. They'll be, uh, they basically, they should be the same. When I adjust them, this, you know, like a quarter turn on each side, they should both adjust the same. So let's see. So here I have a uh, 13 millimeter. Um, yeah, it's a 13 millimeter. Yeah, it's a 13. On that. Um, so that's, to, that's this, this is the tensioner adjuster. But before that, I have to uh, loosen up the, uh, the axle. So this one doesn't have a uh, nut, obviously, on that side. So gotta do it on this side. There's a nut. So sorry for the wind noise. It's pretty windy today. I think this is a 24. Oh, it's not a 24. It's bigger than 24. Shit. This is, what is this? This looks like it's uh 27 maybe? Okay, I'm gonna get another wrench. All right, so I've got my uh, 27 millimeter. I need to open it up too much. So just enough to that way I could, I could adjust my uh, uh, my uh, tensioner. So basically we're gonna adjust it so that way it is. Uh, well we we have to adjust it equally both sides first, but we want to adjust it the way it's uh, um, uh, it gives you the proper uh, belt tension that you want. So so I need to slide it out to get more tension. So I'm gonna start here at the fat. Right, so this part is flat right here. All right, so that's one flat. I'm gonna go. Uh, oops, I need to loosen this side up first. Loosen this up first. Ah. Okay, so that, that actually spun. This actually not actually spun a little bit as well. Not not a whole lot, but it did spin a little bit. Okay, so loosen up this nut right here. This is the lock nut right there. So so let's get this thing back to its what it was uh, before, which is right there. Right. So uh, I want to back this thing out. So to back this out, I'm going with one flat at a time, right? So it's gonna be one flat right there, like so. Probably need more than that. I'm gonna go, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do two flats. One, two. Okay, so that's two flats. I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. As well. Go with two two flats, but I need a, so I'm looking here at the flat. I need to actually, uh, Loosen this thing up. Just lock it up first. So that's loose. Okay, so let's go back to where the fat was. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, this way, uh, back the nut out, or excuse me, the bolt out that way. Two flats as well. So that would be one, two. Okay, let's see. two. All right. Then I have to check my tension on the uh, on the uh, belt. So here's my tensioner tool. So basically, you stick your you know your finger like so. You just press it in until you hear a click. Right. You have to go to the, where the middle of the belt is between the two uh, sprockets. Right. So which is about right here. Like that. Push it up. Oh, can't push it up too much. Hmm? Next click. Okay. Okay, so, okay. So that click, and I'm looking here where the, where the, uh, the top of the black piece intersects the, uh, the metal piece here. It's just about, it's about 105. So let me try that again. Oops. Try it again. Okay. 
Okay. So about 100. So I'm good. So that's, you know, it's within my spec. The spec for zero spec says between 25 pounds and 175 pounds. So that's that's a really big range. I don't like that big range. They, sh they should, you know, it should be a tighter range than that. But anyways, oh, this is a lot tighter than it was before. So anyways, so that's good there. Now I could basically lock lock my lock nut back up again. Man, this is so much easier than a than a chain. Make sure this thing this flat doesn't move in here. I should have two. I should have two of these. But I only have one 13, 13 millimeter wrench, unfortunately. But you know, it'd be nice to have two of them so that way one holds it and the other one spins it. Um, well, what they should have done was they should have made one. Uh, you know, they make the two nut that different size. You know, one's like a 13 and the other one's a 12 or something like that, or, or 13 and a 14. Okay, so that's tight. Back to this side. Same thing, tighten this, this nut up. Make sure the flat doesn't move. Okay, that's good. Let's a little bit. So if you don't have anything to hold the uh, hold this, uh, and when you tighten this this side up, this will move a little bit. So what you do is you kind of back this one the other way, so that way when this when when you tighten this one up, this this one moves a little bit. It, it will move and it's, and the flat of this nut will be parallel with the uh, with over here. See, so because it, it will move. If you don't you know if you don't have anything that holds it. Okay, that's good there. I'm good with my tension. Now I just need to tighten this back up. And there's actually a torque spec for this. Let me do that with a socket first. There's a torque spec for this. It should be uh, 75 uh, foot pounds. So 75 foot pounds is uh, not that much. It's uh, that's actually less than the car. A car, the lug nuts on the car is uh, the lug nut on a car is uh, 80 foot pounds usually on a, you know, just a regular passenger car. So on the bikes, it's not as much. So this is how I store my uh, anything that that uses battery and, and I don't use it that often. I always take the battery out. So the battery, just in case the battery leaks or whatever, it doesn't damage my uh, my uh, uh, doesn't damage the tool. So let me bring it back down to seventy. Was it seventy five? So I can see that seventy five foot pounds. So that's good. And this is a snap-on, so I'm good. All right, so this is a three-eighth, so I have to put on a little adapter for a half inch. And this this torque wrench I have here is good for up to a hundred foot pounds. All right, okay. There we go. And this one, the cool thing about this the torque wrench is that it vibrates and beeps, so it does both. Actually, move it this way so you guys can see the numbers. See the numbers there. Already. There it goes. So 74.4. So that's good. You cut that good and that's it. That's how you adjust your chain tension and uh and check the chain tension. So here it's nice and tight. So that's good. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh yeah, I think that's it. Well actually you could double check the chain tension. Because usually once you tighten up the the uh, the axle, sometimes the, the chain the, the tension. Well, excuse me, I keep on saying chain. I mean belt. Sometimes the uh, tension on the belt will uh, belt or chain doesn't matter what it is. It will change a little bit. So let's double check that. So let's go like this again. Again, right around the middle somewhere. So it is at uh, yeah, it's a little bit. It's about 110 or so. So yeah, so it did uh, it did tighten up a little bit. That, so that's usually the case. Usually that's what I always notice when I adjust chains as well. Whatever the 
tension is, once I tighten up the axle, it will actually get it slightly tighter. And which is, actually this is fine. This is still within the spec. The spec again is, is up to 175, so I'm still good there. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.